What's going on, Jerome's? It's Wednesday morning. That means it's time for the most accurate power rankings in the known universe. And if you disagree with any single one of the rankings, you're wrong. How does it feel? Right. Uh, you've seen the, the rest. Now hang with the best. That's right. Starting, as we always do, down at the bottom at 33 and 32, respectively but not respectfully. Uh, you got the Packers, the Greasy Grime Green Bay Packers, as well as the Cricket Chicago Bears, allegedly both 4-2, and two. whatever, w whatever. Hey, the Packers, hey, job being the Cardinals, right? Hey, but hey, I've been told that the Packers are so good, so shouldn't the Vikings just get a smidgen of credit for winning at Lambeau? Hurt is tough. Mm. Uh, and then the Bears have played the three worst defenses in the league <laughs> the last three weeks. I mean, hey, you beat the Panthers, you beat the Jaguars, you beat the decimated Rams. Caleb Williams is the real deal. Also, I love all the takes. Oh, the, the, the takes from September, but Caleb Williams are stupid, aren't they? Yeah, play a real defense, and we'll see what happens. I, I cannot wait until Brian Flores and the Purple Hayes defense gets their mitts on Caleb Williams. It's going to be biblical. It's going to be fantastic, man. Next up, 31, you got the Browns. The Browns are ass. I'm glad that Amari Cooper made it out. I, I hope that Miles Garrett and Nick Chubb are allowed to leave as well because, you know, the Vikings don't really need Miles Garrett. Whatever, just bring it. We'll put him somewhere. Put him in slot cornerback, man. I don't care. All right, but the Browns. So Stefanski's gonna get scapegoated for this. Stefanski and well, Andrew Barry just signed a contract extension, but who knows, man? But the the Deshaun trade and contract easily the worst move in NFL history, uh, w w with all of the factors. But also, he's just been terrible. He just, yeah. Yeah, uh, the Browns fans deserve better, but frankly, the Browns ownership does not. Uh, 30, you got the Panthers. Speaking of bad ownership, so the Panthers got boat raced again. Hey, I, I know that Thielen's on IR, but just cut him so that he can just come back. You can be wide receiver six. You can be a healthy scratch. Just be around in the building, man. Go, go ahead. But uh, Panthers, hey, if Derek Brown wasn't hurt, ah, it would be great to trade for Derek Brown. Uh, but we'll take your finest J.C. Horns. Uh, basically, this power ranking is just, is just who can we trade for from your team? Patriots, I don't want anyone. <laughs> Uh, unless Gonzo is available, I don't know. But the Patriots, um, hey, at least Drake May threw three touchdowns. I mean, you got the great white hope. I mean, Drake May, guy I liked in the draft process a lot. He's going to need time, and he's going to need weapons and protection. And the Patriots have none of that. Uh, 28, they got the Jaguars down two spots. They got boat raced by the Bears uh, in London. And Trevor Lawrence, I, I actually feel like he played okay. He just had several drop touchdowns from his receivers, so he's not getting any help. But Jacksonville, I, I think the Jaguars are going to have a fire sale. Uh, frankly, I, I think Doug's going to get fired once they get back stateside next week. 27, you got the Tennessee Titans. So, I mean, the Titans. Will Levis continues to just be hilarity. Must see TV every single week. Uh, this time, unfortunately, he took out, like I think it was a ball boy uh, on the side towards ACL. I mean, come on, Will Levis. It's ridiculous, but yeah, Titans go down again, and they're they're a mess of a franchise. But what are they going to do? Fire their head coach? They tried that last year. Uh, Cowboys at three and three. Speaking of a mess, I think everyone's going to get fired. Well, except for the general manager Jerry uh, Jerry Jones. Uh, you know, getting mad with radio talk show people. Uh, uh, the flagship station, by the way. Uh, but Mike McCarthy's going to get fired. Zimmer, frankly, should be fired. I like. How do you give up forty seven points to the Lions at home? Just an embarrassment. Absolutely, I, I I don't care about the injuries. Dak is healthy, CD is healthy. How do you not get in the end zone a single time against this Lions? A very terrible secondary. It's ridiculous. Uh, speaking of ridiculous, the Jets. Hey, so the the Jets' issues are their offensive line is bad, and their their kicker is terrible. Their offensive play calling is terrible, and they just fired their head coach. So let's trade for thirty one year old Devonte Adams. Just going to solve everything. Like this just seems like. Uh, a knee-jerk reaction to being two and four, and Devontae's not going to fix things. I mean, sure, maybe they'll put up some more points and you know sell some more tickets, and you know have highlights of oh Rogers to Devontae, 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 whatever. Uh, but uh, didn't get done against Buffalo. Also, two games in a row, Rogers has thrown the game losing interception. But oh, he completed a hail mary. Grab your freaking lations. What'd that get you? Yeah, twenty-four. I got the Broncos. The Broncos are bad. But it's okay. Thursday night football, Broncos, stupid ass Sean Payton returning to the Superdome, taking down the stupid ass Saints. Everyone, everything's stupid. Yeah. Uh, 23, got the Raiders down two spots as well. Uh, so the Raiders basically giving up. Yeah, they traded Devontae. They should trade Max Crosby. <laughs> it's like with Miles Garrett. I mean, we, we don't really need him, 
And also, schematically, it doesn't really match up, but also, I don't care. Like, Flores... Flores is not so rigid in his thinking that, hey, if you give him Max Crosby or Miles Garrett, that he's not going to find a place for them, right? Uh, but, yeah, the Raiders, this is bad. Uh, I, I wonder if Antonio Pierce could be a one and done. Hey, Tom Brady's like a minority owner now, so maybe he'll have some sway. Hey, hey, Tom, Tom, get on the sidelines. Yeah, 23, excuse me, 22, got the Saints down two spots. So what's funny is that at halftime, the Saints led 27 to 24, <laughs> And they're just completely unanswered. Uh, they got boat raced by the Buccaneers. But the Saints, I don't know, man. The Saints defense is fine, but they have so many injuries. Derek Carr's out. Spencer Rattler's looking like a rookie. Uh, they just lost Rashid Shahid. So, I, hey, Saints, if you, if you want to send up Alvin Kamara, I, I feel like that's going to be karma for that seven-touchdown performance on Christmas. 21, got the Dolphins on the bye. Uh, Mike McDaniel thinks that Tua is going to play this year, so that would certainly be boost the the offense but the offense right now is ass thank you like they can't block anything uh, Devin Kane is injured every other play that's mainly just fantasy football uh just fantasy football frustration defensively yeah Dolphins are bad right now I, also I don't know if Tua fixes everything the Giants are also bad so I mean Greg Joseph come on down right and I, I know that Dayball is trying to fight the good fight I think that Dayball and and uh, Joe Shane should maybe have another year, but it's kind of their fault for sticking with Daniel Jones over the last two years. Like, they could have had C.J. Stroud. They could have had Jaden Daniels. Or they could have made a move for Jaden Daniels, but it didn't work out. Yeah, so I, I think everyone's going to get fired with the, with the Giants. Hey, so Dexter Lawrence, one time. Uh, 19, you got the Eagles. So even though they won, they, they dropped down two spots. Like, hey, Sirianni, like, why are you John with your fans in the crowd when you just barely survived at home against one of the worst teams in the league? Congratulations, man. Hmm. I, I think Sirianni should be fired pretty soon, too, as well. Uh, 18, you got the, the Rams up two spots just on by chilling. Hopefully getting healthy. Uh, well, actually, hopefully not so much before the Vikings play them on Thursday night. But I'll always believe in Stafford. But, hey, if they want to have a fire sale, Kyron Williams, come on down. But uh, they might be getting Cooper Cup back soonish. So, TBD, what happens there? 17, got the Cardinals down two spots. I want to believe in the freaking Cardinals, but I can't. Like, Kyler, my countryman, how can we keep letting us down? Harrison Jr. went out with a concussion. We got kneed in the face by a Packer. Just like, um, da na na da na 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 knocking guys out. That's what they do. Kind, kind of dirty. Uh, but, I mean, the Cardinals... I don't know. So, uh, it, it's so shot. Look at how many terrible teams are in the league. I feel like half the league is basically just atrocious. There's like five good teams, a couple of average teams, and everyone else is just horror bad. Colts, whatever. Uh, Anthony Richardson might be back. Uh, 15, the Bengals. Hey, don't strike up the band quite yet. I mean, they, they beat the Giants in probably the worst Sunday night football game we've seen. Like, that, that deserved to be a Thursday night game. You know, Joe Burrow turned on the Jets running in touchdown, but like, I, I, I don't trust this Bengals team, uh, but Zach Taylor's not going to get fired midseason because the Bengals are too cheap. So I don't know. Uh, speaking of a team I can't trust. So hey, remember when the Seahawks started out 3 0? 0 3 since then. They got completely torched at home by the 49ers, but uh, they, they look to potentially get uh, a little bit healthier. So we'll see. Uh, they did trade for Roberts Harrison. Who, a guy I like. 13, got Texas. Hook him, baby. Uh, put the bank thing on Oklahoma and the Cotton Bowl and the Red River. What was it nowadays? Red River rivalry? Red River shootout? Wh whatever. But, I mean, Texas might be for real. I mean, Quinn Ewers, Arch Manning, doesn't really matter who's under center. And now with the new playoff format, like whoever gets hot at the end is going to win, which is kind of awesome. 12, got the Steelers up four spots. So they're potentially going to change from Justin Fields to Russell Wilson. He's going to get some first team snaps this week. I don't know. Like, if it's. If it's not broken, why break it, right? Because I feel like Fields brings a dimension that Russ just does not. And also, I, I think Russ lost his fastball multiple years ago. So I think that going to Russell Wilson would be a downgrade, despite with all the issues with Justin Fields. 11, you got the char Chargers up one spot. Uh, Jar Jim Harbaugh had a atrial fibrillation or something like that, flutter. Yeah, uh, either way, he's good to go. Uh, and they are starting to get a little bit healthier, especially along that offensive line. Defensively, they're pretty damn solid. So the Chargers, uh, you know, they're not going to threaten the Chiefs, but I think they could uh, make a little push uh, here towards the end of the season. Ten, you got the Falcons up one spot. Hey, congratulations, beating the Falcons. 
Awesome. Tyler Algier runs hard. Like I I know that Bajong gets all of the accolades and stuff, but Tyler Algier, man, like he he runs angry, which is awesome. Nine. The Niners are back. Finally making our win against them week two look better. Uh, but the Niners uh, went into Seattle and just completely the Seahawks, and they're starting to click again, and potentially they'll get McCaffrey back later in the season. We'll see. Eight, you got the Bills uh, staying put, you know, surviving on the road in New Jersey uh, against the Jets, and now we got Amari Cooper. I mean, I mean, Kurt, Curtis Samuel was supposed to be your big move, right? But uh, no one was really stepping up. I mean, Shakur was hurt. Uh, Keon Coleman is sort, sort of whatever so far, but Amari Cooper is a legitimate receiver, man, uh, with Josh Allen. I mean, that, that certainly could be an interesting match. Uh, seven, got the Buccaneers. I love and respect the Buccaneers. Uh, I love what Liam Cohen has done uh, as OC. Bucky Irvin, he's hanging on to the ball, which is great. Sean Tucker put up huge numbers as well. Baker's having fun. Godwin is back. That defense is solid with bowls. So, yeah. Uh, six, you got the commies down three spots. I, I don't want to tax him too much because it was a hard-fought game against the Ravens. And I, I do believe – I believe in Jane Daniels, man. Like I think that he is going to be a true talisman uh, in the league. Five, you got the Ravens up two spots, uh, taking care of things at home. Hey, remember when the, uh, everyone was writing the Ravens off when they were 0-2? Yeah, four wins in a row. Nothing to sneeze at. Uh, five, you got the Lions. Whatever. Hey, we'll, we'll see what happens on Sunday, man. Uh, yeah, we'll see if you're cocky enough to be throwing uh, fades to Taylor Decker and like hooking ladders to Penny Sewell and Dan Skipper out at the X receiver spot. Yeah, bring it. Bring it on. Three, you got the Texans up one spot. Just went in, demolished the Patriots. And the Texans are for real. And, again, also they're making our, our win against them, the blowout win, by the way, week three, really good. Oh, but they didn't have Joe Mixon. Where does Joe Mixon play on the Texans' defense? That gave up 34 points, four touchdowns to Sling and Sam Darnold. Like, where does Joe Mixon factor in there? Uh, and, and then, of course, one and two, stay and put. You got the Vikings and the Chiefs uh, off of the bye. And one and two, what to do? Right, uh, but that's it. That's at week seven after NFL power rankings. If you disagree with any single one of the rankings, you are wrong. How does it feel? Let us know your thoughts. Our thoughts, comment section. You know what to do. Skull production value. <laughs>